We want to give it up for the Levitt for having us here and making this music open to everybody in the community. One, two, three. What Levitt is about is taking underutilized public spaces and turning them into welcoming destinations, creating community through music. The Levitt program is 50 concerts presented free of charge to the community every year. Anyone can come here and be in this beautiful setting and share in the music. Oh, quality music has been wonderful, from, from Irish Celtic music to jazz. The best thing is that it's a cultural mix of music, cultural mix of people. It's like a living room yeah. for, for the entire city. You get such a cross-section of people that just come out because it's free. free. It's free! <laughs> The Levitt Pavilion is a vehicle to transform neglected spaces into thriving destinations. MacArthur Park was a drug-infested, crime-ridden area, and that's why we were excited to welcome Levitt Pavilion, who was one of the catalyzing forces to transform MacArthur Park. Nobody would have predicted the transformation that this park has had. I mean, if you look about now, you see families, you see kids, soccer fields. We've taken what was once a great liability for the city, a shuttered brownfield site, and now turned it into a tremendous asset and a source of potential for the city going forward. Well, I tell you, I would never imagine I'd be sitting in front of a blast furnace on the grass listening to music. Never in my lifetime. The Levitt Pavilion here in Westport, the original Levitt Pavilion, is one of the longest running free outdoor summer festivals in the nation. Westport wouldn't be Westport without the Levitt Pavilion. In the beginning, we started with a lot of passion and a lot of goodwill. Today, it's a very smart business model. Levitt Shell has revitalized Open and Park. Our business community has benefited because it's one more offering that adds stability to that neighborhood. This area of Overton Park used to be pretty run down. Shell had been sitting here unused for many years and now when you look at it it's hard to believe that that was ever the case. I really don't think that the Shell comes back in Memphis without the involvement of the National Levitt. It was really a triangle, the National Levitt Foundation, the City of Memphis, and then the, the Friends of the Levitt Shell. Every Levitt Pavilion has a local Friends of Levitt Pavilion nonprofit that works in partnership with the city and works in partnership with the National Levitt Organization to produce the local programs. The Levin in downtown Arlington has been critical to the revitalization of downtown Arlington. We've been able to bring in new restaurants and new developments. I don't think we could have done the Levitt, at least the quality that it is now, if we had not had that public-private partnership. They provide us capital support to get the stage out of the ground, the operating support to help our nonprofit get started, and then the technical support to help us realize how to book talent. As a national support organization, we make sure that every pavilion has the resources, the funding, and the capacity building tools so every pavilion is sustainable long term. Memorial Park is a known commodity in Pasadena as a result of the Levitt Pavilion. It's a source of pride and excitement and economic strength. We find that all of the audience that comes to the park to hear the concerts, they're also going to our businesses to shop. The first year we wondered if it was going to work. Now there's no question, it is working. Seems like it's too good to be true, but it is true. Not a lot of people imagined that we'd be able to pull this off in the economy that we're in, and the Levitt Pavilion on a, on a summer evening is the place to be. To expose the kids to so many different kinds of music weekly is, is absolutely priceless. We live a couple blocks away and we would never consider moving. One, two, one, two, three, four. How much does it cost? Nothing. What's the dress code? Nothing. 
Who do I have to know? Nobody. Just walk in, sit on the ground. And then you start talking to the person next to you, and then they said, oh, excuse me, but can I borrow your mustard? And then they say, hey, do you want a soda? I mean, it's a great way to meet people. So I know from people who come from the suburbs, it's not just Midtown Memphis, it's all of Memphis. Transform an underused space, make it a music destination, invite everyone to participate and watch what happens. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. We love the Levitt! It's not a bad seat in the house. <laughs>